Namaste, fellow shinobi, and welcome back to Seven Days to Die. And you just heard that sound. That is the sound of Day 69 Lightning. And the lightning signifies that we have a horde coming on this very night. But I wanted to show you guys in today's video my sort of custom horde base. Obviously, I've gone around and prettied this up a little bit. And uh, if you want to see this build from the very beginning, uh, there will be a time lapse at the end of this video. So you can watch the time lapse and see what it looked like when we just started. But this was just a little garage. Uh, but we kind of took it over. We reinforced it all the way to reinforced concrete. Obviously, the most essential blocks have been reinforced with steel. Just because that's something you would want to do by this point in the game if you were on day 69. Uh, so this is where we would have fought the hordes probably up through day 14, 15, 16, something like that. Just pop up the hatch, fight them right here, throw molotovs and explosives at them, that kind of thing. It works really well. But eventually you want to transition into something bigger and better. And that takes us to our horde base. Now we are missing one feature right now and I left that feature off so that I could kind of show the base off. Um, and they're, they're going to be plates that hang down from the ceiling and they're going to stop cops from puking on us and uh, spider zombie, zombies from jumping on us. And we'll put those plates up before the horde gets here, or at least I will. Um, but yeah, this is kind of the base design. Uh, you go ahead and you pop down these two hatches. These hatches don't really do much. They're just kind of there in case you want them up for whatever reason. The zombies come pouring in the side. They ignore your main uh, workshop because, you know, they have these paths to come in and they see this path over here and they go, oh, I got to jump up here because you're right behind those bars. Then we have a punchy right here who, okay, there he goes. He is working, has a uh, burning shaft mod in him. So he'll punch them off the ledge as they slowly single file their way up here and catch them on fire sometimes. So you're getting good value out of your punchy turret that way. And then they'll come over to here and you're going to be on the other side of these bars by that door. And primarily, it's just going to be a melee base, a melee and explosive space. And they'll just kind of stand right here. And if they start to pile up, they just push them each other off the ledge and fall down. And uh, yeah, then they just have to rinse and repeat the process. They get back in line, come over here, do the same thing. And as they pile up right here, we are going to be <laughs> right over here throwing explosives down at them like Molotovs. And the base has a bunch of little features. You know, these are double thick bars. It's got three different fallback points. One there, one there, one there. Multiple uh, ladders up to hatches. Oop. Taking us up to the roof. Keeping us nice and safe. And, you know, if for whatever reason we didn't want to go on the roof, there's also multiple of these. There are ladders surrounding the entire base. So we can kind of climb along the walls like a little spider or a little monkey and shoot down at the zombies. There's always somewhere we can go if things get really dangerous. All right, so I went ahead and put this up so now you can see what it looks like totally finished. Uh, we do have a full set of level five steel gear with ideal mods in them, sort of meta mods in them. And all of our weapons are mid tier, but they are level six and fully modded. If this area does get breached for whatever reason, uh, if we fail to repair these bars or this block and stuff starts getting through, we can just hop down right here, run over to here, jump up here, and boom, we've got a whole nother set of stuff for them to get through. Really, the worst thing that can happen is the stairs get broken and uh, they just start freaking out and attacking the base, but it's obviously reinforced steel, concrete, so we should be good. And I think that's everything I wanted to talk about other than I got a new Deadpool chair. Uh, which should squeak less than my old chair, and it looks great. And I also got studio backlighting for my backdrop, so I think that looks pretty sweet too. But uh, we'll talk about that more in another video. Let's uh, let's kill some zombies. Here they come. Did I mention that I'm level 69 and it's day 69? Nice, by the way. Nice. All right, I hear the pitter patter of zombonies. Uh, I am not warmed up at all. I haven't played seven days to die in weeks. <laughs> So we'll see how this actually goes, but I'm feeling pretty confident. This base is super strong. I've got good gear, good weapons. We are gonna be just fine, Zo. And we are, of course, playing on insane nightmare difficulty. None of that easy shit for me. If I'm not having a miserable time, how is it even fun? Am I right? So we're just gonna keep pushing these guys back with some melee, and they should eventually cycle through and with our points into 
Uh, what is it? Sexual Tyrannosaurus? We really shouldn't be running out of stamina in melee. There's really no point to doing this like this. I should be using explosives. I'm just trying to enjoy all the different guns we've got. And let's see how this bar is doing. So you can see it is taking damage. Oh, he's going to blow up. It is taking damage, but not a great deal of damage. As long as you're paying somewhat attention, you really shouldn't have to worry about it too much. Let's try out one of these exploding crossbow bolts. Nice. That's pretty cool. The damage seems decent. It's getting kills with each shot. That's pretty cool. Easy mode. All right, let's see about our pumpy. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that gets kills. That gets kills. Back off, you fuckwad. All right, so I think you get the basic idea. Let's just go ahead and make sure these, these things are repaired. I would like to see if I can actually take out this entire horde. I know we're not gonna die, right? I know we're totally safe, but I wanna see if I can actually clear the horde before morning comes. So let's get to uh, to grinding and actually trying to kill some zombies. Just to try and sell you guys even further on my custom, by the way, base design. Um, we are going to take our nail gun and throw it out. We're not going to repair this base at all. Let's see how far the zombies can get if we uh, give them the chance. Get away from my wall! That's the first one down. Let's see how well she works. Woohoo! We missed a little bit, but you see, there's nothing to worry about. It doesn't matter how many times you miss, as long as you've got a thousand backup plans, right? So we know we need to go down this hatch. And shit, boys, we're back in it. Let's make sure we close that hatch, though, because vultures could come down and bother us if it came to that. Now, I'm a little sketched high. You're not supposed to be up here. Push me inside the wall, what, what the, the fu fuck? Okay, okay, we're fine, we're fine, we can recover from this. You just need to stick this jump, okay. Hey, look at that. Even when the game bugs out and you get shoved inside the wall, uh, you're fine, we're totally fine. That was, that was nothing. Can we use this splint? No, okay. We can eat some food though. To recover a little of that health. Holy shit. I thought that was it for a second there. That would have been really, really unfortunate. All right, I think we're chilling. Let's pop back down this hole. Did they take out? No, 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 no. Wrong hole, wrong hole. All right, we're gonna come over to this hole. We're gonna come back down here. We're gonna close that hatch. Let's try and clear these boys out. That sure shook me up. All right, we're fine though. We're totally fine. This is easy. Just got to keep a little bit more of an eye on our health than we were before. And sure, I could spam bandages, but I don't want to spam bandages. Oh shit, I don't have repair kits. That's unfortunate. <laughs> All right, guess we're resorting to a sniper rifle, melee range. Um, let's try and. Oh god. Oh no, that's gonna be it. Oh no. We gotta get out of here. That's not it. What am I saying? Why am I doubting myself? Okay. Okay, we're just a little bit on fire. We are gonna use another bandage here. I would have loved to drink something and put myself out, but you know, such is life. So, what I'm gonna say is that repairing is actually incredibly useful. Okay, we made it into the last little safety hole. I think we're gonna be able to hold this one just fine. 
Should we have repaired? Yes, of course. Uh, this space would be holding up much, much better if we had been repairing. But all things considered, I think we're doing quite well. I just want to keep this cop from blowing up. Please die. Please get away from my wall. But the fact that you can live through a Knight 69 horde, which does still remain to be seen, uh, without repairing, I think is pretty impressive. Hey, Junkie. You lazy piece of shit. Not doing your job. Woo! Yep, we can still take hits there. Let's close that hatch. I think we can justify one more painkiller. And one more bandage. Ooh, ooh. I think I know the way. Hey! You're not supposed to be in here. You guys messing with my plan. It's, uh... You know what? We got one hour left. Let's just go fight him on foot, alright? And bear in mind that they are on nightmare speed. So, this is not standard. <laughs> oh god, that's terrifying. Oh, and we don't have any points in run and gun, which is unfortunate. That means we're going to be slowed down pretty substantially. Woo! We're going to be slowed down pretty substantially by reloading, but that's okay. We got 13 shots for the rocket launcher. We're going to be just fucking fine. Get away, Birdo. Pushed a button that I shouldn't have. Oh, that was a good one. That was a good one. Yes. We're fine. We've got stamina for days. Hi, lady. Oh, shit. They're respawning all around us. It would probably be easier to just not kill them <laughs> and just run in a straight line, but you know what? Easy does not equate to fun. Come on, ponies. Come on. Holy shit. Yes. 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 Clear the way, my rocket launcher. Alright, it is officially morning time. We are basically done with the horde. We just gotta finish them off. We were not able to slaughter them all in one night. They were continuing to spawn all the way until morning time. But I was I was making some silly mistakes. Obviously not repairing the base. Being chief among them. Ooh! That reloads much slower than the rocket launcher. Oh god. Ugh. Why am I on fire? No! No! No, sweet Jesus! No, don't kill me! Painkiller? No! I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I killed myself with fire. Oh well. There's home sweet home. We made it back in one piece. And, you know, I think all things considered, we did very well. Uh, this is a really great, solid horde base, in my opinion. It, it always does right by me. Obviously, not repairing the bars is a big, big, big thick boy mistake. If you just keep that front bar repaired, you can just fight them there safely all night. But I think fighting them on foot did make this a little bit more fun for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed that aspect of it. But before you go, there is a time lapse of me actually building and upgrading this place. So if you would like to watch that, uh, then stay tuned. And I love your faces. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you learned something. Please like the video before you go if you haven't and subscribe if you haven't done that also. But I will see you guys here next time with more 7 Days to Die content, among many other things.